Hello friends, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to take a look at some memory related errors that you might face while using a Dell PowerEdge server. So in this video, we are going to take a look at memory errors uh, limit exceed that you might uh, get an error on this display that might be saying that A10 or A11 or any other uh, memory dim slot is having an error and it keeps on restarting the server so let's uh, I will show you how you can diagnose that error and work on its fixes so the first of all I am going to I am running EXSI on this server so I am going to turn off my server so I can show you how you can diagnose this error so <coughs> I am shutting down the server and we will wait for the shutdown to complete After your server has been completely turned off, just hit the power button to turn it on and once it's on, uh, and it is on the boot screen after the configuring mem um, memory option and it will go, on, go into the boot screen and over here you need to press F10 to enter the lifecycle mode. So once you have once it's done configuring the memory, we will just press F10 to enter the lifecycle mode. So over here in the top right corner you can see that it says press F10 to enter the lifecycle controller so I am going to press 10 F10 to enter the lifecycle controller and as you can see over here it says entering lifecycle controller and from over there we are going to uh, go ahead and uh, run our diagnostic of what is the actual issue that you might be facing. Let's wait for it to boot up. And it is going to take some time uh, to initialize the lifecycle controller and um, get into all the settings. So I will be back once that is done. As you can see now that our server has been booted up and we are in lifecycle controller. So from over here, what you need is you need to press the arrow key and scroll down to where it says hardware diagnostics and hit enter. And Press tab to enter the selection menu and over here you can click on run hardware diagnostics and just click on yes. And now what is what this is going to do is it is going to run a complete hardware, hardware diagnostic of the server which it checks hard drives, processor performance, RAMs, memory states, everything and it uh, shows you what error you are actually facing so <coughs> you can diagnose that and fix it. Uh, in any possible way that is given in the documentations of your server. So in my case, I was facing that memory limit error on my one of my memory sticks. So what I did was I ran a hardware diagnostics and it told me that a DIN, DIN number A10 is having the issue. So what I did was I opened up the server and I then removed these two uh, memory sticks that were causing the problem. And after removing that, I reran the diagnostics and it showed up without any error and all the functionalities were working. So that's it how you can diagnose any errors within your EXSI server. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, do comment down below and I will be happy to help you. Thanks and bye bye.